130,000, that's how many women have migrated to South Korea to marry. Now, adjusting to life in a new country with a new family and without knowing the language makes life very difficult for most of them. And of course, adding a higher rate of domestic violence instances into the mix makes the transition all the very more difficult. But despite these roadblocks, a number of migrant women have grasped the nettle and are blossoming here in South Korea. Our Oh Soo Young has the story. Helping foreign brides become more than a typical housewife. That's the number one mission for Ira, a Mongolian woman who is Korea's first ever politician of foreign descent. Having moved to the country 16 years ago, Yi says she feels more at home in her former constituency of Songnam than in Mongolia. She was elected to the Gyeonggi-do Provincial Assembly in 2010. I never even dreamt of being a politician back in Mongolia, but suddenly in Korea I was 33 years old in office, working with budgets and representing the foreign population here. She may have now left office, but she's sticking to a pledge of giving immigrants a voice through her organization, which supports women who move to Korea through marriage. Acknowledging the struggles they face in overcoming social and cultural barriers, and even cases of domestic violence, he aims to help migrant women become more independent and entrepreneurial. It's crucial for women to leave their homes, socialize and find sources of income. We're working with Songnam City to train our women in medical tourism so that they can turn their native language skills into a specialized profession. When won first moved to Korea with her husband in 1997, she felt trapped at home, unable to speak the language or develop a career. She decided to challenge herself by learning interpretation skills and began helping other foreign wives communicate with their husbands by translating their letters in an online community. I felt the limitation of simple translations. I wanted to provide more practical support, so I began working with NGOs and became one of the first consultants on the Tanuri Emergency Hotline for Migrant Women, which has now expanded to 13 different languages. One is now a legal interpreter and a representative for the local Vietnamese community. Throughout the years, I saw how passionately and selflessly Korean activists fought for our rights as migrants. They showed me how I should and could do so much more for my own people, especially women. Recognized for her efforts, one was named Ho's honorary mayor in 2016, a role she says she'll always strive to fulfill. Among the 130,000 women who move to Korea for marriage, a growing number of them are working to improve social conditions so that others can enjoy their rights to well-being and decent jobs, as well as reach their full potential in Korean society. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.